Of all the games in my arcade, I've played my Defender cabinet the least. Defender is a reskinned version of Arcade 1UP's original Mortal Kombat Legacy cabinet, and this particular design had what many considered a flaw. The marquee overhangs the screen significantly. Now for adults over 5 foot 6, standing to play the game means that you can't see part of the screen. On Defender, it means you can't see the scanner or ship stats. For Mortal Kombat, it means you can't see the life meters. And while you can solve the problem by sitting on a stool, I just don't play my arcade games that way. Being six foot tall, I've installed Buy Stuff Arcade's riser boosters on many of my cabinets. These are high quality boxes with a black laminate finish that simply plug under the Arcade 1UP riser. For some time, I've had a four inch booster under my Defender cabinet, but it just wasn't high enough. I figured six inches was about the maximum I could add and still have the game controls at a comfortable height. Instead of buying yet another booster, I decided I could probably make my own. In fact, I made two in this video for less than $30. The the second one is for a centipede cabinet I'm rehabbing for a friend. Arcade 1UP cabinets are made with half inch medium density fiberboard that's skinned with graphics. So to make my boosters, I bought a 2 x 4 foot piece of half inch MDF from my local Home Depot. I needed to make a 6 inch riser for Defender and a 4 inch riser for Centipede. I used my table saw to cut the MDF into the appropriate strips. If you don't have a table saw, you can do the same thing with a circular saw, a straight edge, and a couple of clamps. To match the dimensions of the Arcade 1UP riser, I cut two pairs of strips for each booster. You need two at 19 and 15 16 of an inch for the sides, and two at 19 and 7 8 inch for the front and back. While I was at it, I cut up a 1 by 2 to make the corner mounting blocks. You need four of these, and they should be about two inches taller than the booster. I assembled the boosters on my workbench, clamping a framing square to the tabletop to keep everything aligned. To build a booster, start by applying wood glue to two faces of one of the corner blocks. Then clamp the block to one side and one end panel. Be sure that the end panel overlaps the side panel or the booster isn't going to fit. Next, drill two holes per side through the panels into the corner blocks using a 3 32nd inch bit. Then secure the panels to the corner block with 1 inch wood screws. The MDF is soft enough that the tapered screw head will countersink by itself for a flush finish. Once I had the boosters assembled, I tested them on the risers. Both were snug at first, however by loosening the screws on one of the base's side panels, I got them to slip right in. From the test, it was easy to see that the 6 inch booster was going to work well for Defender. The boosters are about the last thing you'll see when playing the game, so I simply painted them black. I used Rust-Oleum Acrylic Semi-Gloss Black Paint, applying it with a brush. MDF soaks up paint like a sponge, so it took three coats to get a finish I was happy with. However, the multiple layers of paint make the finish more durable and help resist scuff marks from players' shoes. I let the boosters dry overnight and then applied them to the cabinets. First, I removed the riser from the cabinet. Cabinet. Next, I flipped it upside down and removed its nylon glide feet from the outer edges. I then slipped the booster into the bottom of the riser base and reapplied the nylon feet. To apply a foot, hold it in position with a pair of needle nose pliers and then gently tap its mounting nail into the MDF with a hammer. While you could simply allow gravity to keep the boosters in place on the riser, I move my games around quite a bit, so I attach them permanently with one inch pan head screws. First, remove the front panel from the riser. Then, drill holes through the corner blocks on the booster and into the side panels. Next, drive the screw into both pieces for a secure fit. Replace the front panel, flip the riser over, and repeat the same steps on the back. I found that holding the booster in place with clamps while I did these steps ensured that it mounted to the riser straight and level. After reinstalling the cabinet on the riser, I just couldn't believe the difference. That night I played Mortal Kombat and Defender better than I ever had, simply because I didn't have to constantly change positions to see the top of the screen. My friend's going to enjoy his taller centipede cabinet as well. It took me an afternoon to cut, assemble, and paint the parts for the two boosters, and about 30 minutes the next day to install them. Look for more of my easy Arcade 1UP modification projects on my YouTube channel, Pop Art Studios. And if you find these videos helpful, consider subscribing.